comics, movies, TV, video games, cartoons, stand-up, and many more geeky things. This is the Brothers Bear Podcast Live. Bye. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We're recording once again in the city of Whittier. It's the Brothers Bear Podcast Live. Yes, it's the Brothers Bear Pot. I don't even hear myself. Am I up? Oh, there we go. <laughs> I didn't even hear myself. We hear you, bro. We hear you. Yes, you hear me. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to episode 13 of the Brothers Bear Podcast live. I am your host, <laughs> Sanch, and as always, I am joined by... Carlos Madrano. And... And sweaty. You know, I'm really getting sick of this name now, man. Why? You came I'm, up I'm with it. I'm getting old. I'm too old for this. All right? <laughs> what are you, Danny Glover? I was about to say that. <laughs> <laughs> I want a better name. Or I what? want a cooler name. All right. Well, like, what do you, you want? You know, um, uh, what like fluffy or something? Yeah. Flo- no, you can't be fluffy. That's, that's, that's okay. Gabriel Iglesias. All right. Um, <laughs> up at the top of my head, what can I think of? Ooh, amethyst. Amethyst? Yes, amethyst. What the hell's that? It's like a amethyst. color. <laughs> a collar? It's like a rock or something. A oh. rock. Yeah. It's a. Uh, it's a. Like red looking rock. All right. Well, let's do this all over. Hey, welcome to the Brothers Bear Podcast Live, episode 13. I am your host, Sanch, and as always, I am joined by Carlos Mandrano and Amethyst. <laughs> yeah. Amethyst. Yeah. Amethyst. AKA Le Chouette. Play the song, sir. And before AKA. we have a huge show going on today, we have a guest. He's currently not here. But, we, but before we start, let's get into some shout outs. All right, ladies and gentlemen, our first shout out goes to Derek Murray for being our guest last week. Thank hey, you, uh, sir. Yeah. It was awesome having you fun. Oh, having you fun on the having yeah. you on the show. <laughs> having was fun, fun with you. Uh, is that what you wanted to <laughs> yeah, I did. I'm not. <laughs> yeah. yeah, during we playing, those commercial breaks, <laughs> we were playing footsies with him the whole time. Yeah, it, it was it, it was, was awesome. Bit, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thank you for being on the show, sir. And also, I want to you know, as they say. Pimp out his podcast, Jack of All Nerds podcast. Uh, their little description they got here is join the Jack of All Nerds and his fellow nerds as they discuss all things nerd related comics, movies, cartoons, gaming, comedy, pop culture, and anything else that strikes our fancy. Basically, it's our podcast, them bastards, but that's yeah, what we were talking about last but week. better. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, so check them out, the Jack of All Nerds podcast.com or, and also on Facebook.com slash jack of all nerds so once again thank you derek and murray thank you also another shout out i want to give out to uh, uh it was on twitter i don't even know really what he is who he is if he's a comedian or what but i told him i'd give him a shout out because he said hey you give me a shout out he's in the uk he's Ooh. following us and it's cool and clear so it's at cool and clear on twitter is it cool it now and <laughs> yeah uh, Kind of. Well, I don't even know what I'm saying. Um, yeah. So thank you, sir. I, I, there's your shout out. He said yeah. he'll, he'll give him a link. He'll watch All it. So yeah. Also another shout out I want to give out to is a podcast called The Ladies of Laughter. I came across them uh, Instagram. Usually on Instagram we follow. I, I follow everybody. Anybody that likes an image. Um, whenever they're you know I'll check them out. And the thing is, a lot of times, like, I'll reply to these people saying, hey, I heard your podcast, this and that. But a lot of these people are just, you know, usually jerks, a-holes. They don't even reply back. But these ladies, like, <laughs> they were cool. Like, they wrote back. The, the main one I had talked to was Chelsea, the, the middle one right there. She replied back. And they, they were, like, Chelsea. they were like so cool. And I've been talking to basically Renata and Chelsea, like, a lot on, you know, Instagram, Twitter. Oh, I was going to ask, how do you pronounce that name? Yeah, actually, I asked her. I was like, hey, how do I pr- how do you pronounce that? Like, I felt bad. I'm like, because I'm like, is the, the T silent? But she's like, no, she put it red and like nada. I was like, oh, okay, nada. So, so yeah, because I, nada. yeah, so. Why would the T be silent? I, I don't know. How well, how would you pronounce it with a T? I don't Renat, know. I mean, I, I feel bad. I've never seen the T being silent, though. That's why. <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> All right, well, well, if you had it with the T. Are T's ever silent? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. No. No, they're not. <laughs> well, today they are. All right. Yeah. Hey, hey it's, it sounds like a D, not a T. So, but yeah, but the, their little description is <laughs> just three fun gir- funny girls looking to entertain others and maybe get a cheap laugh or two. Uh, Episode one, if you hear it, the audio is like listening, like you know, to a Beatles album where you get the left and the right side, because uh, they Skype. The one thing is, they're oh, not, your they're headphones not. Headphones break out, and the only one side works. <laughs> yeah, like like that, you know. So I mean, obviously, but by the later episodes, their audio sounds great and all that. And I was having a good time. I was listening to them, and I, and I, I that's why I had the Instagram them and say, hey, you know what? 
you guys, it's like I, you know, you guys, I can hear the potential in you guys from like the very first episode to where you guys are at now. Your sound is changing. I mean, it's it's really entertaining. I was enjoying it. Um, the main Chelsea girl has never seen really any movies. That's what really caught my interest because I started listening. And she's like, I haven't seen The Crow. I was like, what the hell? And then like, she started talking about all these other movies, Sixteen Candles and all. It's like she's like Kirby. Sixteen. <laughs> so yeah, so I was like, you know, I wrote them and they're following us. They're actually supporting us and promoting us on twitter and i'm like yeah so it's like yeah so we're promoting them too you know giving giving back so it's it's awesome um so yeah so thank you uh ladies for being fans and we're fans of yours so and we might be guesting on their show pretty soon um Uh, they asked us yeah it would be through skype again they're like us it's three girls but they they're not in the same area they live all in different areas in the u.s so I don't know how the hell they pull it off. It's all through Skype. It's weird. Oh, that's badass. Yeah, so oh, I was like, cool. hey, you know, and, and they're young. The awesome. the main Chelsea, she's like 17. The main Chelsea? The main Chelsea. Well, I mean, the main girl, Chelsea. Oh, I said that weird. She's like 17, so um yeah they're all young i don't only one of them the amy girl i don't know how old she is the other one i heard on the podcast she was 19 so they're all young you know they're starting up and chelsea wants to be a future comic so i told her if she's ever out here in the future you know hey you know probably possibly be in the you know carla you know performing but she wanted to do sketch comedy but anyways uh like i said ladies of laughter once again thank you they're on twitter and then the last (laughs) shout out uh for the day is was Shweddy's birthday. Oh, no. Shweddy's birthday. Shweddy's birthday. Shweddy's birthday. Yeah. Now give it up. Yeah. Happy, happy birthday from all of us to you. It's because we can't really sing the happy birthday theme. We'll get sued. Man, it's my birthday. We can do whatever we want. <laughs> <laughs> happy birthday to uh, r- 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 Make noise. No. Happy censorship. The door's going to crack open. Or no. <laughs> <laughs> Who's there? <laughs> <laughs> yes. L- ladies and gentlemen, Les Schwetz here is 30 years old, sir. Oh. So how yep. do you feel as an old man? Because I got to go through my uh, Instagram and find some certain quotes for, y- for you. <laughs> um, I feel great. I feel like... Um, a new man. So now you can go back in time and do your 13 going on 30 movie? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all, all right, here we go. I found them. All I have the to say is have that you have on love, me. sir, online, on Instagram. You don't check it, but you got some love. Like, you got um, somebody actually saying uh, yum to you, like saying, oh, I love yum. him. Like, whoa, I'm in love. I told her to call in and share her love for you because I thought she was talking about your shirt, your Bill Murray shirt, but no, she was talking about you. Um, oh, yeah, you got like, fans. Like it's like she says, donut. he's like a rainbow. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so you know, uh, like the Rolling Stones once said. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, like you got some people. Another girl saying is like, uh, maybe I should start stalking him again. Ha ha ha! Happy B day, sweats. Yeah, so dude. You, I mean, you got you got love out there, man. On the on Was the Instagram world. I know. Hey, Phoebe, where were you at? Where's my cupcakes? <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna hear knocking on the door uh, right now. Hello? <laughs> no, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so yeah, man. Happy Thanks, birthday! Man. I know. It. Um, I happy kept this birthday. hidden because I love you guys. Thank you. We love you too. <laughs> <laughs> speech. I yeah, speech. speech. Let's hear a speech. Thirty years old, man. That's the big three O. Oh, what's yeah, up yeah. with that? The three O. Big three O. Oh. Let me see what I got at thirty years old. Um. Love is all you need. (laughs) (laughs) Boosh! I don't think we can sing that song either. (laughs) Yeah, and the reason why I was hiding in, I was putting it out there because I said, you know, hey, I had no clue it's your birthday. And he's like, surprise. And then I'm like, punk? Well, no worries. We'll get something set this Monday. And he's like, F that. I won't go. (laughs) And I was like, oh, crap. I'm like, we'll do something afterwards then. I I had to lie because I wanted this guy to have a birthday. Uh, Um, So, yeah. So, I know I told people to call. I, I actually don't even see the screen. Oh, what are you talking about? I don't know. You should have open up the other screen just in case so I can see if there's any calls. So this guy's directing. All right, oh, cool. Oh, no calls. No You're chat. You're feel awful right now, bro. No chat. No, it's okay. Because I told... <laughs> I, I'm telling you, people are scared, dude. Like, Nobody they're so shy. Them. Like, that's the one thing. People are so scared. Call. If you can call, it's 855-969-7268. Join in on the conversation. Join in on the fun. We're going to have a guest, Dylan Garcia. I know he's running Ooh. late. Um... We were going to go into the segment with him, but it's all right because we could jump into other segments. I have everything set, so we have no worries. Also, I'm currently on Twitter, so if you want to jump in on Twitter and have some fun with us, go for it. Uh, Do you guys have any shout-outs, actually? So. Well, I mean, once Dylan gets here, but yeah, Dylan, when he gets here, we'll like, <laughs> shout out. give him a shout out. Yeah, pre shout out, pre shout out before he gets here. Yeah, he texted me. He said he's gonna be here like in oh, well, a couple of minutes ago. He te- he texted me saying he'll be here in ten minutes. So. Okay, so 
It'll what be. about you, Schwetz? You got any shout outs this um, week? Um let me see. Oh yeah, shout out to my my son, four year old son. Oh yeah, he started preschool. Yeah, yeah, I saw that. It was awesome. I wasn't there. Uh I was at work. Yeah. <laughs> but you know, I, I, you I saw got the, the Texas from my wife. Yeah. yeah I <laughs> saw that. You should have like FaceTime him as he like runs yeah, away. I know, right? <laughs> was he special. like how how was he? Did do you know if he was like sad, tears crying? No, yeah, or he, he was, was like, good. Ah, get out of here, I'm I'm gonna go to school. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, at first he wasn't, you know, he was pretty much uh, holding on to her for dear life yeah <laughs> until yeah! um until they sat down in the um the room and uh, yeah. brought out all the stuff like uh, crayons and whatnot yeah to distract him and slowly but surely all the moms do left. they still give out those pencils those blue pencils with the no erasers the fat ones i think so i don't know <laughs> <laughs> so he's going to what sunnyside daycare uh no it's in temple yeah, i don't know <laughs> <laughs> temple like, academy ah, Toy Story Three. Yeah. Yeah, oh yeah is it temple yeah. All right, on. Temple Temple it's still Temple School to me. Screw Academy, whatever. <laughs> I grew up with Temple School, and it's going to be Temple School. That's what my thing. I remember he's going to be like, what, Lil Lazy Man, dude. When I was in preschool, I had like six girlfriends. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I had girls you, all the time, dude. They were, every time my mom would go, all the girls would always cry. <laughs> I like Santos, but he doesn't like me. And I just, yeah. I was a player in preschool, dude. Oh, that man, was that's fun. messed up, dude. Well, I, 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 I was a kid. Like, I knew. I'm like, I want to play. So that's where you got that from. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> that's where it originated. It all started. So yeah, you, you know, your little, your little boy. You no, know, there's your origin like, story right there. Yeah, I know. If you had a comic book, there you go. Yeah. Preschool. I was, I liked, I, I was a player, but then there was that one girl that broke my heart. And then from there, <laughs> changed me forever. Nah, I don't know. He's a gorgeous kid, man. He's a gorgeous <laughs> kid, man. He's going to have all them ladies lined up. I know, and he has your hair, dude. The curls and all oh, that. Oh, yeah, the curly hair, huh? <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, I shaved it off recently, though, because of the summertime and whatnot. We'll grow it back up. <laughs> Why? Because he was like, it'll be too high? You yeah, it's shape? like too high. Really? You know, yeah, it is. I remember when I had the fro back then, when I had that long curly fro hair. When it got hot, I was like... <clears throat> and then giving him a bath, too, sucks for him, you know? The, getting his hair combed, he's a boy. I mean... I, I guess I know what you mean, because <laughs> it is it is that's awesome. Like thinking. That's the one upside of being, you know, bald is like, you know, hey, it feels good. And But during the winter, forget it. I'm oh, freezing yeah. like a bear. Oh, we got commercials. All right, we'll be right back. Bye. Hopefully with Dylan Garcia with Brothers Bear Podcast Live. <laughs> hey, where you going? Brothers Bear Podcast, we'll be right back. No, seriously, where you going? Come back. TicketSurgeon.com reaches at 855-WIN-4199. Did you get caught speeding, texting while driving, or doing anything else you weren't supposed to do? Give us a call. Don't miss work. Don't lose out on the money. Don't get any more points. What about your insurance? Let us fight for you. The TicketSurgeon.com at 855-WIN-4199. What up, foodie freaks? It's Chef Bev Lazo with the Culinary Trend Show. Join me and my brigade every Thursday night from 8 to 9 p.m. where we will be cooking up some crazy stuff that will give you the appetite for discussion. It's all about the good food, good friends, and good times. Only here on RantRadioNetwork.com. Uh-oh. I thought it was candy, man. <laughs> Looking for a delicious, fresh family <laughs> meal it. that's ready when you are and easy on your budget? Welcome to Piara Pizza. We make our pizzas with handmade dough, 100% real cheese, and tomato sauce blended with our own spices. Nothing is ever frozen. We always have large pepperoni and cheese pizzas fresh and waiting for you for only $5. Or choose one of our specialty pizzas. We have veggie, meat lovers, supreme, and Hawaiian. Add an order of our amazing hot wings, cheesy bread, or breadsticks. Our locations are ultra modern, ultra clean, and open seven days a week. Visit any one of our locations today. Or check us out on the web at www.piarapizza.com. Piara Pizza. Fresh, hot, and ready for you when you come in. Stop in for your Piara Pizza today. We are the Three Guys Rant with Arvin, Mike, and Phil. Coming to you on the RAND Radio Network every Monday from 6 to 8 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. You can call us at 855-69-THE-THREE-GUYS. <laughs> it's not the three guys. This is why you should turn in because one has Tourette's. The you other really, one's illiterate. You really should listen in. You never know what's going to happen. 855-69-THREE-GUYS. G-U-Y-S and the number three, not the... 
Faces yeah. for radio, voices for the deaf. Look forward to talking to you. Hey, I'm audio candy. I don't know about you guys. <laughs> Hi, I'm Aaron Michael Sanchez. And I'm Kelly V. Dolan. And we are excited to announce our show live with Aaron and Kelly is on Rant Radio Network. What do we talk about on our show, Kelly? We talk about everything from entertainment to business and tech, and we have a few laughs in between. <laughs> That's right. Go check us out on rantradionetwork.com. That's rantradionetwork.com. Check it out. It is a matter, my young apprentice. You can catch them on RatRadioNetwork.com 24 hours a day. The force is strong with this one. Comics, movies, TV, video games, cartoons, stand-up, and many more geeky things. This is the Brothers Bear Podcast Live. And we're back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Brothers Bear Podcast Live. Le, wait, dude, dude, what, dude, what's dude. your name? Le Schweitzer's Remo, Remakamosh? What's your name? Yeah? Amethyst. Amethyst. Amethyst is here joining us live. Amethyst. He man. has a, a, a DJ set coming up this yeah. Friday night at the Palace in Hollywood. Yeah. And then on Saturday at the Avalon. And then on Sunday, it's at the Henry Fonda. I don't know. The Music Box. <laughs> yeah, the Music Is it still called the Music Box? Yeah. No, it's called the Fonda now. Okay, so I was right, the Henry Fonda, or the Fonda, whatever. Or maybe it could be Jane Fonda, I don't know. <laughs> All right, so we don't have our guests here currently, so we'll jump into a segment I was going to talk about later. Last week, I had... Ke- I, oh, he's here? Oh, he's on his way. Yeah. Oh, okay, go, you know what? Go, Never bro. mind. Hold off on it. We'll, we'll do it in the next it, segment. So don't our worry. guest is here, uh, Dylan Garcia. He's our he's our guest, so... If you have any questions, any anything at all, call us for Dylan at 855-969-7268. Obviously, don't call yet because he's not here. So for now, me and Lachuette are going to do some puppet show theater live on the air. <laughs> no, all right. We're real quickly, fans, if you... Um, I don't know what to say for some reason. I got kind of distracted. All right, anyways, we're going to, if you stick around, we're going to talk about D23, the expo, the Disney expo that happened this weekend. Yeah, man. We're going to talk about, uh, you know, the upcoming films of Disney and everything, you know, Finding Dory, um, Inside Out, a new Pixar film. Ooh. Yeah, also, we're going to talk about some casting news that we're hearing about the new Batman and Superman movies. Yeah, so I saw a sneak of that, man. That's exciting. Yeah, so so we're going to find out. So, yeah, so, all right, let's. Bring on the next person. Oh, okay. Ooh, grand entrance. Okay, never James mind. Brown, James Brown style. All right, All right let's get so to we'll, it then. So we'll, we'll bring him in the in the next break. So actually, we'll go right back. So let's uh let let me talk about what I last week I there was something I I kept promoting. There was something because I had noticed something and I put it up there on Instagram that we were gonna talk about and I totally forgot to bring it up. And then you know it was like all right, I fell back because people were curious about it. Like what the hell? What is he talking about? So this is one thing. If you put up image one, it's a movie called A League of Their Own. You guys have seen it, right? Oh yeah, totally. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's one of my all-time favorite Tom Hanks movies. Oh really? Yeah. And Rosie O'Donnell. <laughs> yeah. And Madonna. And Madonna. 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 Well, the one. I mean, it was. Oh, and what, what's uh? Gene Davis. Gina Davis too. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it, it's actually a really good movie. It's I, packed. Dude. I remember as a kid, like the the scene where remember when like they bring the letter for from the husband that died at the war. I remember crying as a kid. Like, <laughs> I was all sad, and then the stupid Madonna song at the end. That this used to be my playground. <laughs> oh, man, that was sad, dude. I remember it made me cry. I was like, ah, but I was a kid. Whatever. Um, but there is one thing. Uh, about this movie, there's a scene, if you put image two, there's a very famous scene in the movie that happens early on in the movie. All right? There's that scene where, if you remember, where, like, Madonna and Rosie O'Donnell's characters, they get all pissed off, and they throw a freaking baseball at Gina Davis, and she catches it all, like, whatever, you know, all, like, all thinking tough. she would freak Yeah, like, all tough. Um, the one thing that I noticed is that, that really is, like, odd that I don't understand, and I think it's a really horrible idea. It's, like, one of the dumbest scenes i have ever hit seen in the history of film honestly is at the end of the movie towards the end when they're old there's a scene where rosie o'donnell who's old and madonna's character who's old i wish i could remember their name they they look at each other and they're like hey is that is that oh her name is dotty that one's name is dotty uh gina davis is like is that dotty 
And what they do is like to to find out if it's Dottie, they throw a baseball at her head. And what does she do? She catches it. And they're like, yeah, it's her. Ah! Imagine if it wasn't her. (laughs) Right in the head. she had You can take the image down. She's like, oh, my head. <laughs> I know. <laughs> yeah, who knows? Like, what? How? How would she know that she would still be strong enough to catch a freaking baseball? That was her test to be like, "Hey, I don't know if that's her. I kind of recognize her, but let's find out. Let me just throw a ball at her head. If she catches it, it's her. If it hits her in the eye, f it." You sound like Will when it comes to a movie right now. <laughs> <laughs> Why? <laughs> because, I mean, the thing is, like, I, it's a movie, so you got to take out the reality aspect of it. I know no old but, lady's going to catch you with their hands. You'd be like, oh, you know. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, all right, it's okay. You're saying it's a movie, take out the reality of it. What was it? What is it based on? It's based on no, reality. Know, gonna it's based on things. an actual story. I get it. But still, it's stupid. <laughs> there was no Rose and Jack in Titanic, but it was based on a reality. <laughs> uh, yeah. No, actually, oh, they're... Oh, damn. I, no, dude, that's it. <laughs> I was going to say there is. Yeah, that's true. I mean, yeah, you got me there. Get Forget it. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> that was awesome, What was that dude? one song from back in the day? Rebuttal. When- Where's the rebuttal at? I don't know. What song? Uh, hey, hey, show me some show respect, me some respect boy, boy. Whoa, what happened there? <laughs> <laughs> no, but, uh, okay. I get it. Like, it's just, but still, seriously. Like, I get it's based on reality and all, but still, it's a, the writer is is a moron at that point for that moment being like, how there could be any other way they could find out if that's her or not, that's but they choose to throw it. a baseball at an old lady's head. That's Come vintage on. 90s thinking, though. I, I, I guess. Right? I mean, it is. It's still a great film. I have no issues with the movie. I love the movie. I thought it was great. You know, Tom Hanks gained weight for that rope specifically. And uh, got Um, drunk. Got wasted a lot. Yeah, yeah. Throughout the movie, he's like drunk. Also, too. This um, is how a wino is. The the one thing about that movie, too, is uh, uh, the line, there's no crying in baseball, was voted number 54 for uh, as uh, one of the greatest quotes of all time out of 100 from the um, AFI's American Film Institute. So, I mean, that's one of the most famous lines that came out of that movie. Is like, there's no crime. I mean, who's, every time, dude, there's always that damn line. People say it. And it's number 54. Has it been said before? No, I don't think no. I would before feel that? like that would be something that's been said, you know, throughout baseball history. So that movie made that famous, really? That's crazy. Yeah. That's I, weird. I mean, come <laughs> on, because, like, every time, like, <laughs> I always like that scene. Like, it's funny, because I always, in movies, when people get hit or certain things, like, I always wonder how they pull this off. Like, like it, I mean, there's that scene. Remember when the little boy is like, you're going to yeah. lose. And they throw, he throws the freaking <laughs> at his face, right? Yeah, and it's just good. like, it, lo- it hits him and he's like, Boop, and he falls. Yeah. But like, how did they really like pull that off? Like, was it really soft? Like, it looks like it's hard. It looks like a freaking nah, base. Like, hits yeah, him in the freaking face. Right face. And like, you know, the kid was like, you know. <laughs> well, yeah, I, but I mean, like, well, now, the, especially with certain movies or TV shows, they actually do get hit. So I'm pretty sure he probably's like, all right, kid, we're going to get you with McDonald's. Uh, after this. <laughs> yeah. You got the ice cream cone right yeah. Yeah. Like, I see you right away, bro. If it was done now, they'd CG that scene. That's yeah, all it no, would be. Dude. A fake glove to I the know, face. Dude, it's like comparable to the, the um, hobos, uh, hobo fights. Oh, bum fights. Yeah, bum fights. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, that's awful. Like, uh, you know? All right. So, uh, could you do that? <laughs> <laughs> Throw a glove at a kid's face. <laughs> Everybody was watching that when I was like in middle school. <laughs> what the? I, you know, I never watched that. I had either, but I remember everyone was like, "Oh, did you see a movie?" I know. That and CKY2K when that was all. Pe- oh all yeah, popular, CKY2K. But, I remember yeah. that, dude. That was huge. That, uh, no, well, CKY2K hand, no. was a movie. <laughs> it's, awful. it's just CKY. CKY2K was the second film. That's the one we had that we would no, always watch. No, no, watch. I know that, but That's I remember. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, all right, it, you know, if you could go to the album, the Batman and Superman casting. Oh, my God. Um, I'm gonna, before you post it, uh, I just want to say up. there's a, a once again, huge casting. I mean, take it for a oh grain of God, salt. But a, 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 it could be possible. But right now they're they're saying in talks oh is Brian Cranston to pay to pay to play Lex Luthor in the new Man of Steel movie. So what do you guys think of having this? Guy? I mean, I honestly... If I picture Lex Luthor, I picture the guy being very charming, but lethal at the same time. Like he'd be, and the way he is, if you've ever seen Breaking Bad, in which if you saw the episode this Sunday, terrible episode for them to come back to. I seriously, the last five minutes were great. The whole episode was a waste. Like seriously, you wait that long for it to come back, and it's a, it's just a turd. Like seriously, it was horrible. The way for them to come back, like it was, it was awful. Do you agree with me? 
No, you don't. Get out of here. <laughs> Wait, no, don't. You need to run the board. Um, you got Yeah. Um, no, seriously though, I was not happy for at all. Like it. it I mean, we're not talking about Breaking Bad. We're talking about Batman versus Superman. But like I said, his character, Walter White, in Breaking Bad is like that. He's like, comes out of a lovable character, but man, he could be sadistic and mean at the same time, like evil. And I feel he would play a perfect Lex Luthor, you know, shave off the head again and boom. Like, I mean, what, you know, what do you guys think? Carlos, well, that's like, that's a promo or, picture. That's not even from Lex Luthor. No, no, it's not. It's just, it's him. It's an image of him, you know. There's uh, nothing. It's I not, think he'd be a, a pretty good Lex Luthor. Yeah. Because I could see him being like that serious, like he, that charming phase that he needs to be, but I could see him be like the crazy, like that double sided person. Yeah. I, I mean, I don't know. The one thing that I, when I was reading about it, because they were like, you know, tweeting out from it was from Latino Review. They were tweeting out like little hints and all that. And one of the things was to say a hint, and it's all the actor played a bad guy, um, embarrassed that he did on the Power Rangers. I don't remember him on Power Rangers at oh, all. Yeah, I know Carlos, you watched yeah. it. Yeah, we, but I don't remember that far, but I didn't know actors back then. Though. I, know. <laughs> I, I mean, yeah, it's Especially like him. <laughs> it, it's like Lawrence Fishburne played Cowboy Curtis on Pee Wee's Big oh, Adventure. But see, that, that everyone goes back to. It's like, hey, I remember. You. Yeah, but see, at the time. No, you didn't know. You didn't know. Like that was uh, that was freaking Lawrence Fishburne. You yeah, know? but he he was in like multiple episodes. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Oh, and he was. Oh uh, yeah, I guess films so. Films before that too, like Apocalypse Now. It, it's like in Freaks and Geeks. Remember Shia LaBeouf in that one episode where he plays the mascot. You know, uh, then you, you're like, you didn't know who's, who's LaBeouf right oh, there, you know, Shia but LaBeouf. but he was in an episode of Freaks and Geek. It's like you always like see that when you watch shows, you watch movies where like. They're huge now, but at the time they played that little baby role, you know, yeah. and you didn't you didn't know who they were. But then you go back and be like, oh, it's kind of like Samuel L. Jackson in Coming to America. Remember, like he plays that little role, and now you look at him, he's the bad mother effer. But if you look at it then, you didn't know who he is. Well, same it, thing with Chris Rock. Remember his like first movie he came out in? It was uh the what was it? No, it's not New Jack City. It was a uh, that that other movie. I'm gonna get you sucker, right? Is that the one where he comes out when oh, he yeah, wants yeah, ribs, yeah, yeah. right? He's like, how much more ribs? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How about I give you two cents or whatever <laughs> like that, right? No, that's he was like a crackhead, That's a famous though. routine that he had. Too, yeah, yeah. Right? I remember he would do it on uh, In Living Color, remember? Yeah, Later exactly, on in the years. Yeah, yeah. He would always, he would come out and he's like, he's like, how about I just give you two cents and I suck the little bubbles on the soda, <laughs> you know, and all he, that. He didn't do it in SNL? No, no, no. He didn't do it on SNL. Oh, I guess right. maybe he couldn't. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. All right, so we're gonna. All right, we're gonna be heading to break in a bit, so don't worry. This time we will have our guest Dylan Garcia. We'll be sitting in. We'll be talking to him, talking all his comedy career, how he started. If you have any calls, you want to come in. I mean, come in, call in, uh, call him at eight five or call us at eight five five six nine six seven two six eight. So you could ask any questions live or any comments for us, or if you have any questions on what we just brought up about the casting of Batman, Superman, anything you want, or even Twitter us some Wait, questions. Question. Yeah, go I ahead. I heard that they were gonna they're they're offering fifteen well fifty mil to Christian Bale to reprise. His oh role. yeah yeah yeah, uh, I saw that. I I don't know if that's true or not, but it's just like. I mean, it's it's Robert Downey Jr. money right there. Like they yeah. offered him fifty Dang. mil to play, and he took it. You know, so I don't know if Bale would do it or not. I honestly do not want to see him play the new Batman. I know we got three seconds, but I I don't want to see him. We need a new Batman. I'm sorry, it has to be. Oh. All right, well we go into break. We'll be right back with Dylan Garcia and the Brothers Bear Podcast live. Hey guys, we'll be right back with the Brothers Bear Podcast live. So feel free to stock up on them goodies. <laughs> to watch our stupidity live, head over to ratradionetwork.com. Good <laughs> colors. TicketSurgeon.com reaches at 855-WIN-4199. Did you get caught speeding, texting while driving, or doing anything else you weren't supposed to do? Give us a call. Don't miss work. Don't lose out on the money. Don't get any more points. What about your insurance? Let us fight for you. The TicketSurgeon.com at 855-WIN-4199. The experts know that for pastry, Baker's Bodega has it all. Exclusive brands like West Co. Bank Mart, Satin Ice, and Pastry Pride. One-on-one -on -one day seminars for cake decorating and gelatin art. So for our service, wide range of ingredients and supplies, and for the low prices, Baker's Bodega has it all. But you don't need to be an expert. Baker's Bodega, 7869 Paramount Boulevard in Pico Rivera. Come, we're waiting for you. 
are the Three Guys Rant with Arvin, Mike, and Phil. Coming to you on the Rant Radio Network every Monday from 6 to 8 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. You can call us at 855-69-THE-THREE-GUYS. <laughs> it's not the three guys. This is why you should turn in because one has Tourette's. The you other really, one's illiterate. You really should listen in. You never know what's going to happen. 855-69-THREE-GUYS. G-U-Y-S and the number three, not the... Faces yeah. for radio, voices for the deaf. Look forward to talking to you. Hey, I'm audio candy. I don't know about what you guys. <laughs> Welcome to the Monster Marketing Group, your one-stop shop for all your marketing needs. Anything you need to make that marketing and advertising campaign stand out, we're your people. Concepts, design, production, social media, anything that you can dream up, we're going to make happen for you. And we can do it in a very quick turnaround. Please give us a call at 888-49-MONSTER. Comics, movies, TV, video games, cartoons, stand-up, and many more geeky things. This is the Brothers Bear Podcast Live. And we're back, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for tuning in once again to the Brothers Bear Podcast Live. And now we have been joined by our special guest. Sir, please introduce yourself. What's up, guys? I'm Dylan Garcia. Woo! Woo! How are you? Thank you, sir. That was was cute. (laughs) (laughs) Thank you, sir, for joining us today, for being here with us. Thanks for having me. Oh, no, it's a no, pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. For you no, for thank you. Yeah, yeah thank seriously. you, bro. Yeah. No, thank yeah. us, man. We got to thank you. Yeah, man. exactly, no, here, bro. Thank you. Taking time out of your schedule to come here. It's yeah, awesome. exactly, man. Actually, so. you guys were on the way. Yeah, no, just kidding. <laughs> out of no, I actually just, no, I really, um, I just got back from San Jose like an hour ago, so mm. I just dropped my stuff off at home and came straight here. Oh, so sorry sure. I was late. No, no, it's, cool. a, it's okay. No worries yeah. about it. Was that what, what were you like on tour? Or just had a, a, a uh, thing out there, or what was going on? Yeah, I did a little Bay Area run of my tour doing the Dill Trills tour 2013, and um, I'm just doing a little uh, little Bay Area run. Uh, Thursday I hit Pleasanton, California at Tommy T's, and. Um, Friday night, I was at the Crest Theater in Sacramento, and then Saturday and Sunday at the uh, San Jose Improv. It went really well. It was a lot of fun. I always get a lot of love from the Bay, so. Mm-hmm. Right on. That's awesome, man. It was well, dope. Well, you know, one of the things I wanted to ask, because, I mean, um, I know, like, I, I was posting about it, and there's people, like, their fans, like, oh, you know, I love Dylan, this and that, and I told them, the, you know, to tune in and call in and everything. And But one of the things was, it's like, I don't know, like, your history like what what where did you begin like what what got you to like start comedy because i know you know it's just like you're you know you're young and everything and like i know we have i've talked to other comics you know they're much older and like oh you know i just how got young the bug, are you but, son yeah 22 22 yeah and you started when i started when i was 16 years old Damn. i started when i was 16 i never really wanted to do comedy uh i've always been an actor i've always wanted to do acting um so i did a little bit of acting i got scammed by a couple of agents oh, that's um nice. But it's part of the business. You had to get it done. Yeah. If it wasn't then, it would have been now. So I did that. Um, my mom owned a deli in Las Vegas. And my buddy, the guy who started me off in comedy, his name's Richard Villa. He's the one. He went into my mom's deli with a camera in his hand and a whole crew. And they basically, my mom was like, what are the cameras for? And he's like, oh, I'm a stand-up comedian. Um we're filming a show out here and my mom throws me under the bus and says oh my stand my son's a stand-up comedian what? you should put him on your show she thought you were funny though right no yeah that's <laughs> like she always wanted to push me towards like like entertainment and stuff mm-hmm. but stand-up i i would have never done it on my own mm-hmm. so she goes hey you're gonna do stand-up comedy um <laughs> at the hollywood improv <laughs> what kind of acting gig is that huh? right like, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna act like a comic <laughs> <laughs> Like, your favorite comic? Like, you pretty much act like that guy, right? Right? And then it was, um, so my mom was like, she told Richard, I'll give you free food for you and the whole crew if you put my son up at your show. Ooh. And so I called his manager, Manny, who managed me for a while. Um, I called him up. And then after that, it was like I did the show. I just showed up. I had about 50 people there to support me. And it was wild, man. Wow. It was a lot of fun. I did a great yeah, show. Carlos Mencia showed up. What? Yeah, opened awesome, up. Man. What kind of Mencia. material were you using? Was that when you were 16? Uh, yeah, that was when I was 16. I didn't know what I was using, man. It was, like, <laughs> like pizza jokes it was what, I, what I thought was funny. Yeah. And then... Uh, Cutting edge, man. I, I <laughs> thought... No, 16-year-old knows the, what he's talking about. The material... About, right? Yeah, the material that I was writing was material that I thought everybody else would like. And that's where I messed up. 
because you're supposed to write about what you think is funny and everybody's yeah. supposed to relate to you. Exactly. So with that, it was just crazy because, I don't know, man, it, it, it was tough. I didn't know really what to talk about. Like, I, I yeah. one of my jokes was, um, like, I had read a, a story online. I remember this forever. Um, one of my jokes was that I found out that there was this shot that they're going to start giving babies when they're born. <laughs> and vaccines. then that it's a vaccine yeah. and then it will basically it can't the baby can't get fat in his whole life <laughs> like it could eat whatever do whatever it wants yeah. fucking just chill sit there but it will never get fat and that's the vaccine and i was pissed off <laughs> because i was like 16 years too late for the vaccine <laughs> <laughs> you know like <laughs> and I look at it now, and I'm like, like, why would I say that? You know? <laughs> it was terrible, dude. Oh, dude. And then I used to say that, uh, I used to say that f- fat people had more pockets and hiding places. <laughs> And everybody was like, what? And I go, yeah, watch. And I would grab the microphone and I would put it under my stomach. And it would disappear. And people were like, okay. We supposed to clap now? Yeah. Like, I guess. <laughs> oh, man. It was crazy. Oh, my bad. No, no worries. Well, you know what? Hey, coincidence. Yeah, we actually have a call right now for you. Do um, it. Or actually, well, wait, what happened? Are they still on? Line one? Okay. Hello, caller on line one. Is it Sophie? Hello. Hello? Hi, you're uh, you're live on the Brothers Bear Podcast Live. What's your question? Um, okay, I was gonna ask um Dylan Garcia if he could give someone a random piece of love advice, what would he say? Uh random piece of love advice. From Sophie. I would say be true, I guess. Just kind of uh don't don't lie. <laughs> Lying's yeah, bad. No, but for real though, I don't know. Like love is weird. He's being serious. It is. No, 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 I'm just saying kind of just stay truthful with the one that you're with. Oh, totally, and don't yeah, lie. Yeah. If, you, if you don't drag that person on, if you don't feel like it's going to work forever, tell them that. Yeah. No need to make someone be in love with you forever when you don't think it's going to work out. So you, you, you keep it real. And if you really want to work on it, you work on it. Mm-hmm. There you go. So awesome. just stay true, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry to get all deep real quick, guys. <laughs> I know. <laughs> it's like, it's oh, you know, comedy all. question is like, all right, you know, about love. <laughs> Huh. Thanks. Make a shirt out of that, dude. Thanks, Boo. Where are you from? What? Where are you from? Um, Virginia. Virginia. Right on. Nice. Yeah, word. Let's kiss on the mouth. <laughs> <laughs> nice. That's, that's my love advice. Why? What are you going through right now? Tell me about it. Tell Doctor Jill Chills. <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah, what's going on with you? Why did you ask that? Something's going on with love and. Uh you. oh. <laughs> um. Well, I just recorded for a podcast last night, and it was all about love. Oh, oh, there we go. Oh, nice. Cool. Well, you can take that snippet and put it in your podcast. <laughs> Not. <laughs> yeah, but th- th- thanks for calling in. I appreciate it. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, no problem. All right, All take right. care. Thank you. Bye. Sophie has a record for calling the farthest for this show. <laughs> yeah, Virginia, there you go. Okay. Yeah, there's people everywhere. I have I have a fan. <laughs> yeah, I know. I, I, you they, get out of your house and they're like, they're fucking just everywhere. Yeah, bro. they're just <laughs> everywhere, dude. Like, I went to a store and there were people yeah, there. It was dude. crazy. Now, have you no, had any fans crazy moments? everywhere. Yeah, like, like I have a fan in Alaska. Oh, oh right so on. It's like a really hardcore. Hey, Her name's dude. Maggie. Have you She's been up dope. there? I've never been up there. Mm. Where's no. the furthest you've been, I guess, yeah, uh, travels Alaska? <laughs> <laughs> Farthest I've ever been, like, I've only gone in the country. I haven't gone worldwide yet, like, overseas. Mm-hmm. Uh, I went to upstate New York, which uh, was, like, almost, almost to Canada, like, in the corner of the top of America. Uh, oh, okay. when, it, when it comes to comedy, is that, like, the mecca of, of comedy? Like, as far as, like, what? just uh, um, uh, co- where, where comedy comes from, you know, like. You have to be extremely talented to to do a set over there or what? Oh, like New York is no, that? No, I like did a college. college. Anybody gets on college, like you're not the man if you get there. Mm. You just are cheap enough for that random ass college to book you. <laughs> you know, like <laughs> like I basically I took a bus from New York City. I was in New York City and I took a bus. It was called um, Potsdam, New York, and I took a bus for twelve hours to get there. Damn. Damn. And then 
I had to do the show. There was no taxis. I had to wake up at 4 a.m. and walk to the bus stop, which is two miles. Oh, that's dedication, bro. <laughs> no, I just wanted to get oh, home. Oh. <laughs> like, I had to do that. To, I had to do that to get home. Did yeah. your mom book that or huh? Who, who booked no, that? No, no, no. I got a whole. Th- I got my mom. <laughs> my mom. My mom's booking my show. Yeah. <laughs> Found a spot um. in New York. <laughs> Because my mom's 80, right? <laughs> I found a spot in New York. She's all dying New York and shit. City. <laughs> uh, now, you, all right, you wanted to, first you started, you wanted to be an actor. So there must have been influences of actors before you obviously got into comedy. Because it's not like you actually had comedy influences because you let in the comedy. You wanted to be an actor. Was, what was it? Like, was there a movie, a film, like a director, an actor that just like said, I want to try acting. Like, what was what, what, what the film like in your life? What came out from that? Like, Everything Judd Apatow. Oh, okay. Judd Apatow oh, yeah, and Adam sure. Sandler. Adam Sandler is the only person I've ever met where I froze. Oh, mm-hmm. really? Like, I met a lot of people and like, I'm oh, cool. Nice to meet you. Like, that's fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So that was that moment yeah. where you're like... And, uh, no, Adam Sandler, I was just, uh, uh, <laughs> like, I froze crazy. But, yeah, everything, Judd Apatow, all those movies, they're so hilarious. I love it how he kept it kept it in the family. Like, every movie, it'd be the same dude, but, like, yeah. playing a different character. Yeah. Like, they all have the same dudes. Yeah. So, yeah, basically that dude. Too, great yeah. writing. Um, that guy, um, who else did I like? Hmm. Actor influences? Probably Adam Sandler. Uh, Denzel, obviously. Okay. Denzel, like John Q, that was some of the greatest work I've ever seen in my life. So, that's far as acting, yeah. Oh, okay. Um, we're actually going to be going to break, but before we go to break, I'll, I'll re-ask this question. Uh, <laughs> like I said, we're live, ladies and gentlemen, so if you want to call in, you could call in at 855-969-7268. So, if you have any questions for our guest Dylan or just anything revolving around the show, please call in, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, but... Before we go to break, uh, the the main question is, I mean, not the main question. Another question that sparks up, like, d- would you ever consider wanting to go into acting all yeah, over again? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I still kind of do, actually. I was just in a movie two years oh. ago called uh, uh, Breaking Wind. <laughs> Breaking and Wind. And it was a, a spoof on Twilight, like, uh, uh-huh. of, of, like, the Breaking... The, the Breaking Dawn, yeah. Breaking yeah. Dawn. Yeah. So this one is uh, it's called Breaking Wind, and it was just kind of the people that made Scary Movie making fun of twilight yeah so that was really fun i got a little part in that all oh, right on i was one of the werewolves <laughs> <laughs> all the world because in the movie all the werewolves have six packs and they're yeah. ripped and this one everybody's fat as shit <laughs> oh, yeah, dude. like they're all fat as shit dude like it's awesome awesome all right yeah. so yeah so uh i won't actually ask another question because yeah we're gonna be heading the break right now but when we come back we'll, we'll be, be back yeah we'll be we'll have more questions for dylan garcia carlos and I, I know you got some questions so when we return ladies and gentlemen on the brothers bear podcast live God damn it, carlos. Oh, you're welcome. Yeah. uh this is the brothers bear podcast live we're gonna come back, so please come back. Yo. Oh man! TheTicketSurgeon.com reaches at 855 win 4199 Did you get caught speeding, texting while driving, or doing anything else you weren't supposed to do? Give us a call. Don't miss work. Don't lose out on the money. Don't get any more points. What about your insurance? Let us fight for you. TheTicketSurgeon.com at 855 win 4 199. Welcome to the Monster Marketing Group, your one-stop shop for all your marketing needs. Anything you need to make that marketing and advertising campaign stand out, we're your people. Concepts, design, production, social media, anything that you can dream up, we're going to make happen for you. And we can do it in a very quick turnaround. Please give us a call at 888-49-MONSTER. What up, foodie freaks? It's Chef Bev Laza with the Culinary Trend Show. Join me and my brigade every Thursday night from 8 to 9 p.m. where we will be cooking up some crazy stuff that will give you the appetite for discussion. It's all about the good food, good friends, and good times. Only here on RantRadioNetwork.com. We are the Three Guys Rant with Arvin, Mike, and Phil. Coming to you on the Rand Radio Network every Monday from 6 to 8 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. You can call us at 855-69-THE-THREE-GUYS. 
It's not the three guys. This is why you should turn in because one has Tourette's. The other one's illiterate. You really should listen, then. You never know what's going to happen. 855 69 3 Guys. G U Y S and the number three, not the. Faces for radio, voices for the deaf. Look forward to talking to you. Hey, I'm audio candy. I don't know about you guys. (laughs) You have entered the Twilight Zone. Uh, Just kidding. It's only Rat Radio Network. Comics, movies, TV, video games, cartoons, stand-up, and many more geeky things. This is the Brothers Bear Podcast Live. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, for the Brothers Bear Podcast Live. Once again, all three of us here with our guest, Dylan Garcia. Hey, Bill. Hey, hey. Woo. So, I, I, I mean, I've known you for quite a while now, so I know most of your God damn questions. it, Carlos. No, I'm <laughs> Thank you. I just want to say thank you for finally doing the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> I've been going back and forth on this, too. Yeah, I, we've, we've actually been talking about this for like eight years now. <laughs> I was like 12, like, yes, I'll do your podcast. One day, it's going to be have... a thing called podcast. <laughs> nah, the yeah. internet, you know? Right? <laughs> internet Explorer is going to die out one day, and then everything yeah. else is going to come back. So, in. started from the question, now we're here. There we go. Um... Like, now, what is it, the, the transition? Because I know you still have, like, you're always going to get influences by other comics. Now, I know there's other comics, like young comics coming up to you. Like, well, how does that feel that people are getting influenced by you? That's pretty crazy, man. Like, I don't, I really don't think about it that much because that's what make people go crazy. But I think it's, I think it's pretty wild, man. Yeah, I, I think it's taking my style. Yeah, no, no, not, not even like that. It's just like. The way I see comedians now, like, I, I never even thought about the fact that other people thinking that about me, you know? Mm-hmm. Like, I have people, like, that, that do, like, even Carlos. Like, I help Carlos out a lot. He's, he's been showing me a lot of respect. So, there's dudes that look up to me now, and I get messages sometimes, like, I'm a comic. I started a comedy, and I wanted to, uh, I think you showed me that you could do it, that I could do this. And it's awesome, man. Oh, I, I, I love it. I'm really, I'm, I'm blessed, and... I really appreciate the fact that people actually feel that way. And it's crazy. They always ask me for advice. And I, I guess, like, the advice that I would always give, like, a, a young comic is never crave respect. Because as far as being a young comic, it's like, when you're new in the game, you have to understand that these dudes who've been in the game for 10, 15 years, like, it was different when they were coming up. Mm-hmm. And that's kind of a thing that, I like, I don't, uh, it's been crazy. I, social media? Yeah. Yeah, social media area? has a big big thing to YouTube do with it all youtube well. like there's dudes out here a bum can be as funny as hell and make some money huh <laughs> yeah it's true just Take like that dude up. off the side of the freeway with that awesome ass voice yeah, remember dude. that oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Remember, yeah. Or, or that one homegirl ain't nobody got time for that yeah make some money off of that dude <laughs> that actually ruined one of my jokes oh uh, uh, yeah i had a joke before that lady said that i did a joke you made on, it cool you no <laughs> before she said that I had told uh, a joke on season one of Stand Up Revolution, uh, the first Comedy Central show I was on. Um, mm-hmm. I had said a joke where I said, um, "Black women are the busiest of all women," because they're always saying, "Man, I ain't got time for this shit." Oh, there you <laughs> go. And then she came out and said, started saying that. So now it looks when I say it on stage, it looks like I'm trying to impersonate yeah. her. Yeah. And it goes terribly. Well, <laughs> she Aww. only said it once. So she <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she says it once and blows up. <laughs> I'm over here doing it in front of eight people yeah. a night. <laughs> it's because you need auto tune, man. Yeah. That's what it is, yeah. 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 <laughs> totally, dude. Just auto tune straight up. You should auto tune your whole next set, dude. That'd be sick. <laughs> you ever be walking through a bar? <laughs> That'd be dope. There you go. I'll record it. T Pain doing yeah. stand up yeah. and shit. That's gangster. That, yeah, buy that mic at Target, the T Pain. I'm uh, down. Shit. Yeah, hell yeah. Dude. You can buy an app. Oh, really? On any, oh, on, on now, any, huh? on yeah. any phone, you can buy an app. It's called the T Pain app. <laughs> it's going to buy it right now. <laughs> no, oh, I think it's free, like huh? five bucks. Oh, oh, what? Yeah. yeah. Five bucks. No, but interested. what people do is like they make little songs yeah. on the thing and you can share your songs totally. all over the world. Yeah. All right, on. <laughs> yeah, it's Get pretty wild. See, well, there you go. It's like you're speaking of like. I guess that's what it is with the respect because it's easy for like when you start now, anybody who wants to start, it's easy for them to promote themselves easily through. But back when you had to work it like, they're, they, you know, the Internet and all that, especially when comedy, like when it really started getting big in the 80s, like, hey, you had to work hard. So maybe that's why it's like, you know, you got these guys that, you yeah. know, 
they get in like we're in the game for so long and then like someone new comes up that yeah, it's like kind of hard like yeah it's hard to get honestly bro there's, there's been a lot of speculation right now uh on facebook about me because i believe that i was one of the first new guys to say fuck tradition and like forget everything i i've just i don't like when people don't realize that times have changed i don't like because there's older comic like to an older comic you're not a real comic until you've toured with a headliner who was an asshole to you. And I think that we don't need to do that anymore. Mm-hmm. That is like, I'm, I'm kind of getting some heat right now uh, across this whole circuit because I'm telling the young comics, we don't need to be treated like shit by old headliners anymore. Like, we can do our own shows. Yeah. And I'm basically doing for the young comics what, the older comics are doing for them, but better, and I'm not being a dick to them. You know, like, I'm trying to make it fun. Like, I don't want to be a headliner to them. I'm a, just another comedian. I booked the show. I mean, I got the people here, but, like, this is why we're here. We're all here just to do comedy. I'm not going to tell you what to do. I, I ever yeah. bossed you around before? No, you haven't. Ever in my life have I bossed anybody <laughs> around. And well, there was that one time. Yeah, but that, no, no, no. yeah, but you blew me, so it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> call it even. Call it even. Well, call it even. No, but I mean, I'm catching a lot of heat for that right now. So I basically am. I I'm, I'm alone why. on this. I don't understand it, why it either, bro. Time, it's just bro. And, yeah, but and it happens in every genre too. Just because he doesn't want to be an a hole. That's like, just the way. That's, that's just yeah, the way it is. Yeah, but it's how also it is, like bro. that. Like yeah, with the comedy circuit and also in, in music too. Like I have a friend that's trying to come up like an as a like a MC, and he got bumped half of his set list. Like he was supposed to do like a like a half hour set, and then he had to cut like yeah a good portion of his his songs, all because of the headliner. Yeah, but it's, I I mean I still don't understand. It's like you know it's like no you gotta I went through hell you know now yeah you, gotta do you it don't too. have like, to do that why? anymore. It's like it's so dumb. That okay that's like saying I had to pass out flyers when I had to do my, yeah, my so age, you uh, can't <laughs> use Facebook or the internet like yeah. oh just because you didn't get to use Google I fucking can't like yeah. well, why was it created. Exactly. You know, like, it, it's just different now, dude. And I, I really feel like, and a lot of people are on my side. A lot of the new guys are like, yeah, you know what? We don't need to. We don't know how we treat every one of the headliners and the veterans. It's all with respect. Yeah. My biggest thing is that people, what they say to me is, and I'm really in, in I've had, I've had a real past month or two. I've had like, it's, it's been a real, a real, like, you know, a lot of that I've been through in the yeah. past month. It's just. I lost a couple friends. I gained a couple new friends, but I'm really trying to rebrand myself as a person. Within the first couple of years of my stand-up career, I had a big thing on my back where people were saying that I was cocky, and that really messed with me. And then when all the woodwork came out, everybody's calling me like, I uh, said some stuff on Facebook, and a bunch of comics started calling me saying, "You need to do this. You need to stop being so cocky." Blah blah blah. And it's just, um, it sucks because now I want to rebrand myself. I don't like people saying that about me Mm -hmm. so it's like and i can understand if i made a couple people feel that way but then again i'm 22 years old man i'm learning life as it goes you know like i got put in this game real fast and all the things that i do have happen real fast and it's uh, faster than a lot of people and that's why a lot of people really don't like me is because it happens so quick but but i'm just out here doing what they're trying to do yeah Yeah, yeah, yeah. like it's like you can't hate on me because i got it before you dude it's (laughs) like You can, I, I mean, you can't, though. But, like, I'm trying to do everything that I can just to be as as best as I can be. And because I got there before you, you don't like me? Like, it's what happens. I, it's it's I jealousy. Don't, That's I don't all get it is, usually. It's, it's, I, I don't, people get jealous. I don't get it. In any so, industry, it's what happens, you know? it's like Any industry. It would. Be, I mean, it could even be, like, working at somewhere. Like, you know, you're, you've been there for, like, you five have a years. Podcast, you could have a podcast start tomorrow, and they blow up on the first one. Yeah. And you guys been doing it longer. You're not hating on them. You worry about your own podcast. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you see? With, so with you, it's like a combination of talent and uh, um, and age to experience. Yeah, man. Yeah. Like all, all the what things, it is, all the, the things that are, it's the, no, the, the, the age that, is a big thing. To the do one thing that. that comes uh, to mind right away uh, is uh, Yasiel Puig from the, the L.A. Dodgers. The Dodgers is killing it. <laughs> <laughs> He's killing it. He's killing it. Everybody, everybody on the um, on the the. World Wide Web is saying he's arrogant, he's cocky, you know, and he's not. He's just killing it, he's dude. He's killing it, bro. He's just killing it. That's all. Like, let him do him. Yeah, You're waiting exactly, for him to say that, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna bring it up, dude. 
it been was um, tough, man. So yeah, man. A but, lot, but I, old, if I old, made people feel that way, it just it's, it's, it's that old age, though, man. It's, it it's that old people need to understand that to let things go at times. You know, yeah. there, there's some there's some uh, um, homeboys that I know that are at a certain age. You know, um, that that have things set. But at the same time, they're they're totally open to what's going on, and, and it doesn't really bother them. You know, they're all about themselves. They're, they're ready to do uh, their thing or whatnot. You know, and that's all that matters. And for sure, man, for to each your own, man. You got You definitely got to worry about your own and, and not worry about anybody else. Cause yeah, so that right just now, gets you down, bro. I'm just I'm just in the in the process of trying to rebuild myself and try to rebrand myself to everybody else. So that I don't want people to feel that way, and I can understand. Like I, I don't know, man. I just I guess sometimes I get. I got age, it, I, it does, man. It really does because I was, I was nice. Like I look at, I look at things now that I was doing last year where I'm like, damn, what a douche, you know? Like, <laughs> like I was doing, like, I'm a comedian and I was, I was doing club events. Like people would pay me to go to their club, and drink. Like I'm a comic. I'm not a rapper, you know? <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, yeah. like shit like that was cool, but it's more like, I don't know. But then again, it kind of goes against because. My big thing is, like, when a comic asks me for advice or something, like, my biggest thing and what I base my whole career off of, and this is what, like, I give it to that made my career, well, obviously the TV credit that Gabriel Iglesias gave me, but mm -hmm. it's basically just creating a hype for yourself. It's basically making people believe that you're at a level that you're not so that they take you there. So, me, I'm really here, but the way I portray myself is here and that's where I put everybody else because they don't know who I am. They just based off what they see on social media. Yeah. So if I put myself here, people already think that I'm at this level, which in general, which in reality, it, it puts me at that level because mm -hmm. that's where people think I'm at. Yeah. Even if I'm not just, I'm talking about like, as far as my, my social status to fans, I'm not talking about like life or like, I don't pretend I'm a baller or nothing like that. Like mm -hmm. I try to, I, that was one thing too. I used to, I used to, I used to think that, because I was making, a, I didn't have a job, and I was just doing comedy. I was making a little bit of money. I thought that I, I would act like a baller sometimes, and I would, I would wear like a chain and shit, and it, and it, it was crazy because <laughs> it, it was. Well, it. I saw you like about a year ago, and I was just yeah, like, was, hey, this kid's got uh, with like all them young kids say swag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was just swag. Like I still got the swag, but it's like it's different now. It's like yeah. it's it's more. It's. It came with, like, the money thing that happened as well. But it's basically, like I said, creating a buzz for yourself and telling people. Like, if I, if I have an accomplishment, I'm posting it on Facebook so my fans know what I did. Yeah. And if a comedian happens to see that and another comedian happens to see that, those comedians start talking. So not only am I upping my status with fans, but with comedians as well. So we're comedians see what I'm doing and it's pretty it's crazy. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, well we gotta go to break, ladies and gentlemen. So we'll be right back more with Dylan Garcia at the Brothers Bear Podcast Live. Hey, Mickey Frog here. You're listening to the Brothers Bear Podcast Live. And we'll be right back. Yay! <laughs> to watch our stupidity live, head over to Rat Radio Network. Oh, man. TheTicketSurgeon.com reaches at 855-WIN-4199. Did you get caught speeding, texting while driving, or doing anything else you weren't supposed to do? Give us a call. Don't miss work. Don't lose out on the money. Don't get any more points. What about your insurance? Let us fight for you. TheTicketSurgeon.com at 855-WIN-4199. Experts know that for pastry, Baker's Bodega has it all. Exclusive brands like Westco Bankmark, Satin Ice, and Pastry Pride. One-on-one -on -one day seminars for cake decorating and gelatin art. So for our service, wide range of ingredients and supplies, and for the low prices, Baker's Bodega has it all. But you don't need to be an expert. Baker's Bodega, 7869 Paramount Boulevard in Pico Rivera. Come, we're waiting for you. We are the Three Guys Rant with Arvin, Mike, and Phil. Coming to you on the Rant Radio Network every Monday from 6 to 8 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. You can call us at 855-69-THE-THREE-GUYS. <laughs> it's not the three guys. This is why you should turn in because one has Tourette's. 
The you other really, one's illiterate. You really should listen, then you never know what's going to happen. 855 69 guys G-U-Y-S, and the number three, not the. Faces yeah. for radio, voices for the deaf. Look forward to talking to you. Hey, I'm audio candy. I don't know about what you guys <laughs> Welcome to the Monster Marketing Group, your one-stop shop for all your marketing needs. Anything you need to make that marketing and advertising campaign stand out, we're your people. Concepts, design, production, social media, anything that you can dream up, we're going to make happen for you. And we can do it in a very quick turnaround. Please give us a call at 888-49-MONSTER. Comics, movies, TV, video games, cartoons, stand-up, and many more geeky things. This is the Brothers Bear Podcast Live. All right, we're back, ladies and gentlemen, of Brothers Bear Podcast Live. Still our guest with Dylan Garcia joining us uh, just talking a lot. And I know you were in the middle of your conversation, so... Um, so so big, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I don't know. Getting deep on us right now. Yeah, bro. seriously. No, man. I don't know. It's just deep. a lot that I've been going through. I'm just letting it all out. Yeah, no. Like there you go. This is your place, bro. This is a place. Yeah, your stage here, man. Seriously. <laughs> so yeah, so, so can download and re-listen to everything you just said. Yeah, basically where I'm at now is just I want. I don't know. I just I. In this business, my my main thing is I've always wanted to be cool with everybody, but I'm learning that that's impossible. Yeah. It's impossible to be cool with everybody, but. Um, I don't know, man. I'm kind of just kind of go back and rekindle the ties that I burned when I kind of got carried away with my career and stuff <laughs> like that. So it's yeah. like, no, I really oh, do. Man. It's like some some of it's pretty crazy. So well, life keeps going, you know. Life keeps like, going, Jesus man. Christ. You just gotta keep going. And um, I feel so I'm, bad. <laughs> <I'm just> <laughs> so yeah, that's all I'm trying to do, man. Just trying to kind of rebrand myself to to become a little bit more likable to my peers because. Uh, when it comes to like this game, like if you can be at the top, but if everybody hates you, it's the worst shit ever. Oh yeah, man! I yeah, would love like, to talk about uh, talk to Kanye West about this uh, issue here. Right? Right? <laughs> He's no, probably but his, like his peers in an like him, just everybody else just hates him. But imagine He's the, so the amount! Uh, imagine the amount of like success that that man's at to where he's just going crazy yeah yeah <laughs> that dude's yeah. just mad crazy. Just crazy bro that's all you it is you can't talk to anyone normal <laughs> no nah, he can't even he can't even project himself dudes. he can't even project himself into that position of being what he used to be he's so up above it you know yeah, that's why like, he crashed into that stop sign he's, he's, oh yeah, yeah <laughs> i head. saw that dude he hit his head hard <laughs> <laughs> i saw that shit and he was all mad at the photographer yeah but he was just mad because he was embarrassed as yeah. shit yeah. Dude. he's like oh sheezy yeah that <laughs> was like hella embarrassed uh kim was in that car right was she? No, they were both walking. Yeah, no, they were both walking. I don't know the story, man. I don't watch TMZ, bro. You had a kid right there, right? No, I don't think. when it popped out. I don't think the kid was born yet. No. He was just walking about. That's it. And he just hit his head. What's the baby's name? North, South, East, West. Yeah. Holler back, dude. Yeah. That's awesome. Wild, Wild. That's the name. That's the name of the baby. Wild, Wild West. Miss the Godparents. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> exactly. I know it was his favorite movie back then. <laughs> <laughs> uh, enough about Easy. Yeah. So, all right. Do you have any horror stories of you? Like, because uh, I know you're saying you horror have stories yeah. <laughs> or horror stories. Horror. Nice. <laughs> no, like, more so fans because you you said you have a lot of fans. Yeah, one in Alaska. You know, yeah. you have somebody from Virginia calling you. Do you, have you had any like craziness when being out there? You know, on tour and all that with any fans or not? Nah, you don't really encounter craziness. That. Uh, no, I'm not really like a groupy type of guy. So like, I never really get myself in those type of positions. Like, I'm a, when it's at colleges, it's always like do the show, grab some food smoke and go to bed like yeah, yeah. And, so you're um, not people showing up at shows like yeah, like, it's me no yeah like good good times like that like positive things are happening oh, like, okay. i've had girls like freak out a couple times like that when i show up and stuff and i'm all, i'm great with the fans I, I do as much as i can like i sit and i talk to them i that's because cool. because my theory is you you make a friend feel like you make a fan feel like a friend and they'll keep coming to your shows over and over yeah so um as far as like crazy stories you don't got anything Nah, man, other than the time that I just, I went to such a, it was uh, Farmville, Virginia, and um, I was, there's no taxis there either, so I had to walk from the Greyhound station where I got dropped off to my hotel, and the hotel was dope, 
<laughs> <laughs> so it sucks that there was no taxis. I walked two and a half miles with my backpack and my luggage. Damn. <laughs> a big ass backpack Through too. Through the woods. <laughs> oh, there we go. Watch out, man. There's all those horror movies. Yeah, seriously. It was like a be, horror movie. You want to be a actor? Like, no, there you go, bro. Dude. Like, it was town 2.4 miles. Like, the distance I had to walk was the distance of woods. Like, it was made that way for a reason. <laughs> like, it was the town. And then I had to walk through the woods. Yeah. And then it was my hotel. And I had to walk to this. There's no street lights, no nothing. And I'm walking through the darkness, bro. Were you scared, man? Like, seriously or not? <laughs> or were you like, oh, I'm I tough, cried. Man. I oh, cried. Yeah. <laughs> I no, um, that, yeah, that shit was scary, dog. I was in the middle of nowhere. Farmville, Virginia. I know, right? <laughs> Farmville? Really? <laughs> <laughs> like the game, dude. Like the game Farmville. Yeah. In Virginia. Seriously. And, um, and it's Virginia I had to walk, too, man. I had to walk through there. Yeah, I was more scared of the white people with guns. Exactly, dude. <laughs> than like werewolves and yeah. uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ghouls. Uh. Yeah, seriously. It was crazy, but I, but I made it. That was basically that's probably the scariest shit that happened. What right. about like hell rooms when oh. it came to like? Oh. <sighs> there you go. No. I did. Uh, Has anyone ever? Worst uh, room I did. Worst room I've ever done was with a uh, a uh, uh, buddy of mine named George Perez. Um, it's a fellow comedian of mine, and uh, we did a a show in Hemet, and the stage was a pool table. <laughs> With plywood on top of the pool table. All right. <laughs> the plywood was warped. Uh. <laughs> so it looked like I was performing in the middle of a half pipe. <laughs> and, like, the pool table is obviously, like, pool table size. Yeah. It was catty corner like this, like, into a corner. But it was, like, low ceilings. <laughs> so we were all kind of like this. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it... It fit about 20 people in there, and there was about six. Oh, wow. Everybody was on meth. Yeah, <laughs> no, I, I guarantee you, like I swear to God, <laughs> everybody was on meth. Damn. Nobody was laughing, but they were all having a good time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, a, I think it was like a 65-year-old lady flashed us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, oh yeah, definitely, yeah. definitely, definitely, definitely round of applause. Round of applause, um, definitely for that. Yes, that happened, and then um, there were go-go dancers. <laughs> One of them looked like she ate the other go-go dancer. <laughs> <laughs> C-section scars, like shit popped off. And then there was an Asian one, and she was pretty hot. But other than that, it was gross. <laughs> <laughs> That's what kept you saying I was an Asian. Yeah, just that one just Asian shit. Shit. That was like three, four years ago. She was on meth too, though, too? No, probably shit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that was a comedy oh, highlight right there. Yeah, oh, no, my seriously. God, it was the worst. <laughs> this kid's boy! <laughs> but the crazy part was, the food was amazing. <laughs> oh, right. Yeah, I got a sampler platter, popped off. All right, there you go. Oh, <laughs> yeah. What kind of samplers were they? Uh, it was uh, mozzarella sticks, <laughs> chicken go. wings, and jalapeno poppers. Yeah, nice. that's the boss life. Wonder, yeah. Do you always get like good food when you're on uh, in shows and tours? Like, do they? I try to, yeah, yeah. I try to. I try to um, like I try to try different places when I go to different places. So like, di- like Texas has really good barbecue, obviously. And yeah. Uh, tacos. I like trying taco spots a lot and burgers and wings. Wings are my favorite type of shit, though. Right on. I try wings. <laughs> I try wing wings man, uh, everywhere I go. That's why they call you the wingman. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely the wingman. <laughs> All right. So really quickly, because I I'm curious. You talked about it earlier. Uh, what's your favorite movie? Because you said you wanted to be an actor. Do you have a favorite movie, or even currently now, like anything? Like what? What is your favorite movie? Step Brothers. Step Brothers. Oh, there you go. Hands down. <laughs> Hands down. Step Brothers, Rise of the Planet of the Apes. I, have, I don't the know OG why. Version? That, that, no. that is a good movie. No, that one is great. Uh, the, Mark Wahlberg. The James Franco one. Yeah, the James oh. Franco No, not, not, not Tim Burton's <laughs> version, dude. Yeah, no, the they were like, oh, I'm shocked. All right. No, 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 no one likes Burton's version. Uh, hey, that was a good yeah. one. Yeah. The new one uh, where, yeah. where the monkey gets like all crazy. smart and shit. Yeah. yeah. All brilliant. Dude, that's dope. You excited for the second one? 
There's a new one? Yeah, yeah they're yeah, working on it right now. We're going to continue that the one, second man. one. Let's do it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that looks dope. Confusing. I'm excited for the roast of James Franco. Oh, yeah, I oh, forgot about right. that. They're, they're about roasting the, the guy. Mm-hmm. They're going to oh, roast him. That'll Should be, be fun. Funny. Yeah. yeah, I know. You know I, it's going to be all the Apatow crew yeah, right exactly. there. Yeah, yeah there all you go, family. dude. All the people that you enjoy. Because that's how it is. You're right. They all they have all like stuck together like family. It's awesome. You know, it's that's, that's what's cool. That's what yeah. it is. It's dope. It's like this is the end. They are all once again all together and all that. And there's Except always for Sam Levine. <laughs> yeah, Sam Levine was left out. You know, so <laughs> it's okay. It happens. But, all right, um, it'll be all right. But yeah, Step Brothers is a shit. That's right my on. that's my spot right there. <laughs> <laughs> that's your G spot right there. Yeah. Watch it like, <laughs> oh yeah, that. that what, what, oh yeah. What about guilty pleasure film? What's that one film that you're kind of embarrassed, but you're like, oh, watch it. I like Sixteen Can. I cry. You know, what, what's that guilty pleasure movie? Porn. <laughs> 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 the acting in the dialogue yeah. is good, huh? Uh, f- Farah backdoor team mom. <laughs> <laughs> Has anybody seen that? No. No. Bless yourself <laughs> <laughs> and watch it. If it ain't free, it ain't me. <laughs> <laughs> I no. I looked up. <laughs> I, I looked up a, a a vivid trial code for an hour. <laughs> <laughs> to watch <laughs> this, to watch this movie, dude. Well worth, uh, well worth. Yeah, the build up's awesome. Huh? Well worth the two minutes it lasted. Yeah, dude. Yeah. <laughs> I, you know, I never watched the show, so I don't even know who she is. Actually, dude, she's hot. Her butthole gets tore up, dude. <laughs> I'm sorry, but like, <laughs> it's wild, dude. Oh man, like, you thought the baby came out of there? Oh <laughs> man, dude. <laughs> That's gross. Yeah, that's pretty gross. Oh, man. I'm just kidding. I've never seen it. <laughs> I know. Just read, it, read, read yeah. about it in uh, yeah. Playboy magazine. No, they actually have a bunch of articles on how her bottle gets tore up. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God, dude. Everybody wrote about it. I saw it on Twitter and everything. <laughs> it's like the that's big Google hit right shaking. now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was trending on Twitter. Yeah, it's trending Gangster, on Twitter. Yeah. <laughs> Gaping butthole. Backdoor butthole, dude. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Uh, awesome. All right. Well, uh, act, no, actually, guilty pleasure movie. Um, I don't know. I've always wanted to take a day and watch the movies that I watched as a kid. The movies that I watch, like, oh, I remember that. Yeah. You know, like, uh, but a guilty pleasure movie. I don't know. Like Hardball. Hardball. That's actually a good. Oh, movie. You know, yeah, the Keanu, Keanu Reeves, yeah, right? Keanu with the low. Reeves, okay. G baby. Oh yeah, I can yeah, see yeah, yeah. I remember that. It's a guilty yeah. pleasure. Yeah, yeah right. Just say Keanu right there. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. No one takes him serious sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. True. yeah. Thanks to him, even the Matrix is in that like category. Yeah. 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 Seriously, just hit bro. There's one line. <laughs> Whoa! When he jumps over the thing, that's the big old thing. All right, we're we're gonna be going to break right now. So when we come back, we're gonna be talking about music with Dylan, but also we're going to get into Shweddy's Song of the Week, so we're going to be asking you some music questions, sir. Let's do it. So when we return yep. in the Brothers Bear Podcast live, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> oh, maybe I went to it. <laughs> <laughs> Boom! Come there on. you go. We're looking at that. Uh, music questions? I don't know. Uh, this is the Brothers Bear Podcast live. Uh, we're going to come back, so... Please, come back. Yo. Oh, man. The com reaches at 855-WIN-4199. Did you get caught speeding, texting while driving, or doing anything else you weren't supposed to do? Give us a call. Don't miss work. Don't lose out on the money. Don't get any more points. What about your insurance? Let us fight for you. The com at 855-WIN-4199. Welcome to the Monster Marketing Group, your one-stop shop for all your marketing needs. Anything you need to make that marketing and advertising campaign stand out, we're your people. Concepts, design, production, social media, anything that you can dream up, we're going to make happen for you. And we can do it in a very quick turnaround. Please give us a call at 888-49-MONSTER. What up, foodie freaks? It's Chef Bev Lazo with the Culinary Trend Show. Join me and my brigade every Thursday night from 8 to 9 p.m. where we will be cooking up some crazy stuff that will give you the appetite for discussion. It's all about the good food, good friends, and good times. Only here on RantRadioNetwork.com. We are 
are the Three Guys Rant with Arvin, Mike, and Phil. Coming to you on the Rant Radio Network every Monday from 6 to 8 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. You can call us at 855-69-THE-THREE-GUYS. <laughs> it's not the three guys. This is why you should turn in because one has Tourette's. The you other really, one's illiterate. You really should listen then. You never know what's going to happen. 855-69-THREE-GUYS. G-U-Y-S and the number three, not the... Faces yeah. for radio, voices for the deaf. Look forward to talking to you. Hey, I'm audio candy. I don't know about what you guys. <laughs> you have entered the Twilight Zone. Uh, just kidding. It's only Rat Radio Network. Comics, movies, TV, video games, cartoons, stand-up, and many more geeky things. This is the Brothers Bear Podcast Live. All right, we're back, ladies and gentlemen. We're still here with our guest, Dylan Garcia. And as always, I'm joined by Liz Schwetz over here, Carlos, but it was Schwetz's new name for his song of the week. So we're going to be going into Schwetz's song of the week with the new image. Sweet. It's time. Hey, where is it at? There it is. The Where's the image? Okay. Oh, bro. Oh, are you serious? Bro. <laughs> he works hard all week. All week. He works hard for the money. No, I did it like half hour before oh, I got okay. here. Oh, all right. God. Well, there was a new image that Shweddy made because he's tired of the the kiss image the for kiss some version. reason. Hopefully it pops up. But anyways, it's time for Shweddy's song that, of the week. Bro. All right. Yeah, this week's song of the week was very hard for me. I had a tough time selecting a song. Well, you had a whole tough time. Tough time, man. Really? Tough time, man. Because I was like, all right, I'm going to do this song right here because I've had it in the, the back of my mind and i got to use it. Yeah. So I was going to use it. And then uh, yesterday, I came up on Nine Inch Nails coming oh, out with a new song. Yeah. And I was like, oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> hey, they bumped it. It was supposed to come out this month, right? Uh, now it's like uh, yeah, coming now it's out in October. Uh, early September is what I saw. That's stupid. Because we're still in August. So it's still a month away. Yeah, but is it going to be good? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> oh, look, look, there you go. Song there of the week. Is. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, supposedly it's leaked. I saw it on uh, YouTube. I tried uh, downloading it, but it's not there yet. But on YouTube, it's there. So I, I'm, I'll admit, I, I tried it. looking for it. <laughs> <laughs> there you yeah, go, yeah. exactly. Yeah. All there was was the, the single from before yeah. this single. Uh, the single that came out is a copy of a copy. Of a copy of a I copy. I mean, I, li- I like that single. Um, the thing is, it's just like, I'm worried. What? Just oh, I mean, Depeche Mode, dude. Like their new album sucks, man. I love freaking Depeche Mode, but I didn't enjoy the new album. I like like right, the well, last. Why, why three are you or bringing up Depeche Mode when we're talking about? Because Nine Inch Nails what if it's the same thing? Nine Inch Nails. I love Nine Inch Nails, dude. I love all their albums. But what if this album again, dude? It's like I'm I'm scared. I'm just saying I'm cautious, man. Like oh, Dark Knight Returns, on, dude. That like that one, that movie. No, not Dark Knight. Yeah. Rises. Uh, uh, Dark Knight Rises. You know, I was like waiting forever in them. That movie disappointed me. All these things now are disappointing me. Well, how it's long age. have you been waiting for a good uh, Nine Inch Nails album? Because you talked, uh, you didn't talk, you didn't say good words about the slip. The slip. Uh, yeah. yeah no, I liked the slip. Did you like the slip? Yeah. Or was the one before that? What was that? No, one? it was probably Ghost. It was just there was no lyrics. Anyways, oh, go yeah, on, yeah. dude. Say say your song of the week, man. I'm I'm taking up your time. Uh, Sorry. Yeah, yeah, no. Well, yeah, and then that's um, how I feel when you guys take up my time during the movie reviews. <laughs> I do. <laughs> I know. All right, yeah, and then I was like, you know what? Uh, the f- original song that I selected was like I had a little kind of uh, explicit for for kids. I, I uh, <laughs> played it a little bit uh, to my wife, and she was like, I don't know about that. You know, <laughs> yeah, you should uh, maybe think about it. Tone so, it down um, a little. Um, it's actually a, a song from uh, J Cole, his uh, new album. Uh, I forgot what it's called. Oh my god! Born but the f- there you go, Born Sinner. The the first track, um, Illuminati awesome track i love the beat uh on it and uh l- let me let me spit the verse for you guys real quick i got it right here all right but this is this is why i don't think uh it should be song of the week at least that's what my wife says <laughs> sometimes i brag like hove hove meaning uh jay-z if you guys don't uh know the hove yeah, part I didn't, I didn't know that sometimes i'm real like pack sometimes i focus on the flow to show the skills i got Ooh. sometimes i focus on the dough Look at all these bills I got. This is a message to some rap- rappers trying to steal my spot. You expletive, famous on the internet. I'm real. I'm real life hot, homie. Get your weight up. Fake expletive. Get sprayed up. My verbal AK slaying expletive. 
And I don't mean no disrespect whenever I say expletive, okay? Expletive, don't be so sensitive. <laughs> um, if you guys, um, oh wait, if you want to get expletive in the expletive, that's between you and whoever else's expletive it is. Pause, maybe that line was too far. Just a little joke to show you uh, how homo, oh, expletive you are. <laughs> <laughs> uh, here's a part right here. Uh, oh no, wait. There's a good part right here. Right? And who What's can blame expletive? you? It's a bad word. Like it's a bad he's word. taking I can't it say out. It. Yeah. Oh. Oops. Yeah, even though you cussed the mug, yeah, it's all good, bro. This is this is a segment I got right going right here. Bro. Oh my bad. Right. That's right. You're a guest. You can <laughs> do it. Nobody told me not to cuss. <laughs> no, it's okay. And we'll be all right. <laughs> we'll, we'll be fine. Boy meets world. I'm trying to find a new Topanga and <laughs> expletive her out. No hanging out. My pops was club hopping back when Rick James was out. And all I get is Trinidad and James. What a minute. Wait. Wait a minute. That's strange. I'll just stop right there. <laughs> that's a, I think that's the Trinidad James diss. Yeah, I know, right? That's that's pretty harsh, man. I like yeah. Trinidad and James. What's he's he, dope. He got he's all right. Him, man. No, he's a, no, no beef, but he's, he's funky, a one-hit wonder. <laughs> yeah. I'll go and that's it. Yeah, now how many tracks does he, all he has is mixtapes, right? No, yeah. well, that's the only song that he had that popped. Yeah, all he comes out with though is uh is um mixtapes though. I don't think he has any albums. I'm not, no, I'm I don't not know sure. if he has any albums. I don't yeah. really follow him. Yeah, I'm for excited. sure. Only excited I'm only album I'm excited for is the Drake album. Yeah, dude. Oh, uh, there was another song that I was gonna pick out too. Is um, it's not it's not off of his new album, but because uh, I don't know what's good, what's coming out, but uh, he's got a track called Versace. Yeah, that's the new one. There's a grip of new songs Woo! that he has out right now. That was a banger. That's His a, verse on that just quick. killed everybody on it. There you go. Um, yeah, his album's going to be crazy ridiculous. Legit, yeah, It's dude. called Nothing Was The Same. It comes out on September 26th. It's it, he's a go. funny character too. The, to me, like it's um, um, I hate to love him kind of thing. You know, yeah, like, does. <laughs> <laughs> it's like this guy's. Oh, the volume was off. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna happen. Call me again. Whoa! All right, all right, all right. All right here. We yeah, go. Yeah, but his album is gonna be crazy. Mm -hmm. So I'm excited. Oh, when is it coming out? Uh, September 26th. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, can't so wait for that. Called to drop. Nothing was the same. It, no, I'm really excited. Like both of his albums have been great to me. Mm -hmm. I love him. Like his, his first album to me was like just first album well. was uh, "Thank Me Later" was good. I believe the second album was more. <laughs> explicit. <laughs> <laughs> Expletive. Yeah, there you Versace, go. Versace, 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 Versace. Expletive, expletive, expletive. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> what up, my expletive? <laughs> Um, so yeah, I couldn't go with that. So I'm gonna go with a band called Pond, a Pond from uh, Australia. They're a weird band, but they're cute. I love them. <laughs> they're they're so sweet. Wow, oh, you can tell they're Australian. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, the if you guys know a, a band called uh, Tame Impala, also from uh, from Aussie, uh, they uh -huh. play like a psychedelic Blurry. rock kind there of stuff. Uh, the bassist for that band or guitarist, I don't know what the hell. Uh, he he dis Took off from them and started this new thing called Pond. Pond! And the song I'm going to pick for you, if, uh, if I have it, is Al Alone, A Flame, A Flower, for sure. So check it out if you guys awesome. like uh, psychedelic rock, pop, uh, good tunes, man. Groovy stuff. <laughs> awesome. All right. There you go. Well, that's Song of the Week. Like we said, always tune in at the very end when you download this episode. On iTunes or our Podbean at the very actually, you know what? Show the image of our links. If you go, uh, if you download, if you go to Insta, I mean Instagram. I'm sorry. If you go to iTunes, just search the Parlors Bear Podcast or our Podbean page. When at the very end, at the very last, you'll always hear the song of the week. So when Shreddy is like talking about during the you know song of the week, right right when the episode's over, stick around and you'll be able to hear Shreddy's song of the week. So thank you for showing the link, sir. Yeah, so and we for got sure. And um, since we you touched it on it a little bit on uh, on Drake and enjoying his stuff. What what else do you do you like as far as listening to music? Uh I'm really big in, in the rap scene. Like I go really deep. Like I have all the new the new stuff that comes out mm -hmm. and like um it's so a lot of stuff popping right it's now. A lot bro. Of, the, I'm mostly it's, it's in the, I'm mostly I'm in the hip hop scene. Mm -hmm. Really other stuff I do listen to every now and then and 
Who do you enjoy the most? Or uh, Drake over everybody. Sure. Drake and The Weeknd. You know The Weeknd. Oh yeah, yeah, definitely, man. The Weeknd. R&B. Dude. Yeah, he's the. I'm gonna go see the him. The real. Oh one. really? He's oh, real. Yeah, sure, he's gonna be at the Rose Bowl. Yeah, yeah. He has so. one track that uh, gets me all like teary eyed and shit. Nice. This guy's deep. This guy's deep. Ah man, I gotta look it up. No, but The Weeknd and Drake. Is it's one of the first stuff that he came out with too. Um, yeah, it's probably. He's the one singing on Crew Love. Uh-huh. They're loving the crew. They're loving yeah, the crew. That's, <laughs> yeah, that's him. All right. So, yeah, those two. So, you're an R&B kind of guy. What about uh, Frank Ocean? Does he, Frank uh, Ocean's dope. Oh, I'm a big you? fan of Odd Future. All right, I'm a sure. big Odd Future fan. Left Brain, all moves. of them. Uh, sweatshirt. Yeah. Those, yeah, like. What I, about uh, Kendrick Lamar? Being Kendrick. Uh, I, I like Kendrick. Kendrick. Because he's blown ASAP. up ridiculous right now, bro. He's all over. Kendrick, ASAP. Uh, who else? Um. A lot of girls are killing it right now. Uh, Lil Wayne, obviously. Um, mostly all like young men. Um, Gambino. Oh yeah, Charles oh, Gambino. Childish, yeah. Gambino. He's coming yeah, back now. Really He's starting to play shows up again. Oh really? Yeah. Is he? Yeah, because I know he has a gig in. Uh, I think the closest now is Nevada, but he's starting to do a little secret shows around here. That's awesome. Yeah, for sure. Um, he came out on a track from a, a DJ called F- Flux Pavilion. He does Flux like, Pavilion, yeah. Does some dubstep uh, style or whatever. But That's sick. That, that track's banging. Yeah, I like I like Gambino. Yeah, for sure. He's dope. And cool. he's funny. Yeah. Can yeah. you believe that, dude? Sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I mean, I wish we could continue talking, but we have to give out our outs because we're heading towards the end. So once again, we would like to thank Dylan Garcia for being our guest on the Brothers Bear Podcast sir. Live and just being real with us, talking about the comedy game right now that's going on and just once again, sir, thank you for being on the Thanks show. For with yeah, thank you. Yeah, I appreciate, yeah, it, man. I appreciate it, was awesome. it, bro. I'll be back every couple of months. Yeah, there you <laughs> go. All right, awesome. Stop by, bro. Hell yeah, I'd love to. Bring that yeah. piece that you got there with Let's you, too, man. Let's do it. It's <laughs> handy. Yeah, it was handy e- today. Little e sick, never right. hurt nobody. I learned a little today. <laughs> yeah, nice. yeah. That, that thing is very interesting. That's yeah. really awesome. Intriguing. So, yeah, so before we go out, want to say my goodbye. So, that, as always, this is your host, Sanch, and joined by always is Carlos Mendrano. Amethyst Rock. Am- or Star. Schwetz. L- nah. <laughs> and, and once again. Dylan Garcia. Thank Dylan you. Garcia. Awesome. Yeah. And then I always give my end quote. So this quote goes out to. Oh, look. There you go. Oh, they didn't show. But if you want to cl- uh, plug in anything you have coming yeah, up. Yeah, you got anything going? Oh, um, Fresno on Friday. Um, Fresno on Friday. Yeah. No. Playbook every Monday. Okay. There you, there go. you go. Playbook. Playbook, every Playbook every Sports Lounge every Monday. La Mirada on the corner of Imperial Valley View. Make it happen. You can follow me on Twitter, Dylan underscore Garcia, D-I-L-L-O-N. Awesome, cool. And as always, I always give out a quote, and this quote goes out to the ladies of laughter. Hopefully you get this. It can't rain all the time. That was another episode in the bag. Thank you, everybody. Check yeah, out DJ thanks Slim. for tuning in and watching. DJ Slim after the show. DJ Slim is up next. DJ Slim after the show. Stick around and watch DJ Slim. Slim. If you like house, he's going to make you twerk. He's going to make you frog here. You're listening to the Brothers Bear Podcast live. We'll be right back. Yay! Yo, in America, this-